Hey everyone, Upload to Download here, and this is going to be a video about the games which I purchased during the Christmas sales in the App Store. And it's probably a wise move to buy most of your apps around Christmas time because they're all marked down to like 99 cents. And that's the main reason I bought most of these games. Anyway, so, um,. I'm going to be showing you on the iPad because my fingers won't be able to cover up the screen and you'll be able to see the game a lot clearer. So let's get started. First up we have Backstab by Gameloft. Now like most of Gameloft's games, this is a spin on another franchise. In this case, it's a spin on Assassin's Creed, but it's got more of a hint of Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, in my preference, I like to say Pirates of the Caribbean. It sounds different, but you know, potato, potato, whatever it is. Anyways, the climbing styles in Backstab is pretty much identical to the uh, Assassin's Creed franchise, and especially the combat style. It's that combo slashing kind of, you know, you jump onto one person and the next. It's almost, as, I guess you could say it's similar to uh, Batman Arkham Asylum that just came out recently too. But like, as you can see there, the climbing is just crazy. It's just like Assassin's Creed. You could probably swear they stole the animation. But um, when you play it, you definitely feel like you're playing Assassin's Creed. And here, um, of course, during in between missions or breaching your objectives, you can help out citizens. And of course, you just saw a lot of blood there. But it's quite nice. As you can see, the scenery is all right. Uh, it's actually a lot more blocky and chunky looking on the iPad than it is on the iPhone or iPod Touch. This is because of the graphic size. It's just kind of been shrunk down on the iPhone and iPod. But there you can see we're climbing around on the roof and we land on the floor. I don't know why I'm showing you this part, but... Anyways, the basic storyline is your friend here, Kane. Uh, he basically let the Spanish into Britain and he needs someone to blame it on, so you're the guy for that. And yeah, so these guys come over and they attack you and you think you can beat them, but it turns out you can't. It's, and you end up being taken to this place to be executed. So that's nice. Uh, and of course you escape, otherwise the game would not go on that long. But then you become a beach runner and you basically go and attack the guards that you used to be friends with. And that's essentially the storyline, all this combo attacks and stuff. Yeah, I'll continue playing it eventually. Next up is Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto 3 10 year anniversary. Now I just have to say it's Grand Theft Auto 3 and you'll instantly go, God, amazing. You know, this game is like the Chuck Norris of games. In fact, when people describe games, they use the scale uh, on a scale of zero to Grand Theft Auto. How good is this game? The moment this game entered the App Store for iPod, iPhone and iPad, it immediately went up to the very top of the charts. And it's still up there. It's, I think it's in third place at the moment. It used to be in first. But yeah, I'm not going to try and explain this game too much because, well, it's carjacking, guns, and a whole lot of fun and yeah you should probably go check it out if you're into that kind of stuff I wouldn't if you don't like violence you might want to stay kind of away from this also if you're under the age of 17 wink nudge anyways the next game 9mm 9mm is a game by Gameloft uh, I don't know what it's taking off but it's probably taking off some game basically it's a third person game where you play as a cop who's decided that it's a good idea to use drug money from crimes to pay for stuff like better weapons and, I don't know, to verse the bad guys more efficiently. So anyway, uh, your methods of being a cop are kind of interesting. And that's all I can say, the game's pretty repetitive. It's basically this, the entire game. Next up is Gangster Rio City of Saints by Gameloft. Now, what did I say earlier? This is a rip-off of another another franchise, sorry. Uh, this is a take-off of Grand Theft Auto. And before Grand Theft Auto was actually available on the App Store, this was one of the games that you'd want. Well, not this one in particular, but uh, when the other one was in its prime, oh, who cares. This game just doesn't stand a chance now. It's pretty lame compared to Grand Theft Auto 3 for the iPad and iPhone and stuff. This this is just trying too hard. The physics are pretty way off. Like, I was driving a car and I suddenly spun up into the air and onto a cliff and yeah, I'm not bothering with it anymore. 
Next up is Tiny Wings. Now, this is actually an iPhone game, iPod game, and it, you can't actually get it for the um, iPad, but you can run it on the iPad because of the simulation-y thing. Anyway, Tiny Wings is developed by one developer, and that's the kind of thing that really made me inclined to get it. This one developer, he's made the music and everything himself, and yes, so it's actually, it only includes one button, you only have to tap down to kind of swoop into the mountain, but it's this kind of simplicity and yet a lot of clever innovation in the game that makes it so fun. Next up is Six Guns. Now I guess with the, uh, what is it, the premiere of Wild Boys a while ago in Australia, this game might be kind of interesting to some of those people. Basically you're a cowboy, this game is for free by the way, you're a cowboy that um, runs around, has a horse, and you're in the Wild West. Now this game is developed by Gameloft and I'm surprised that it's free, but it's pretty similar gameplay. I mean, I guess I can't really say that because you... I mean, maybe it's just me, but I find a lot of Gameloft's games really repetitive. It's just the same kind of levels, I guess. Next up, this is Cut the Rope uh, Holiday Gift. Now, this game is for free as well, and it's for iPad and iPod Touch, and the reason I wish the rest of their paid apps were like this is because I want to buy an app that I can use on all my devices. Anyway, so basically, you've got to get that candy hanging on the rope into the mouth of that little green monster down the bottom, but you've got to try and uh, get the stars as well if you want extra kudos, I guess. So, the levels eventually get harder, you get rockets, etc., to try and uh, use in your puzzles. But also, you've got bubbles that you have to pop. Now, bubbles float upwards, so you've got to be careful of them. See here, pop it, I can get the bubble and then rise up, and there you go. Yeah, so that's a nice game too, and it's pretty um, mind bubbling sometimes, but it's very clever gameplay. Next up is Aralon. Now this, I haven't actually played this, I'm sorry. My brother has. I haven't really got an opinion from him, but I thought the graphics looked nice and that's the main reason I got it. <laughs> the screenshots looked reasonably okay. This is kind of like a role-playing game and that's my first mistake in buying it because I don't actually like role-playing games. So basically you choose a class. Here I've just chosen a male. And then you can choose whether you're a warrior or a mage or a, I don't know. I honestly don't really play them, so I can't understand why I paid for it. Oh yeah, that's right. It was on sale, so... Yes. So you might want to play that if you're into role-playing games. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Upload and Download. Comment, rate and subscribe. I'll see you later.